Hi, I'm here with David Teich, who is general manager of the Windsor Court Hotel here in New Orleans. And David, you're also president of the Greater New Orleans uh, Hotel and Lodging Association, right? That's correct. That's yeah. correct. For 2016. Yes. And so we're here to talk to David a little bit about uh, New Orleans tourism first. And, and how are the numbers, tourism numbers to New Orleans right now looking? Well, 2016 has been a great year and the city is now ahead of, of course, the whole measurement would be the pre-storm days, 2004 really. We're ahead of those days in number of visitors and well ahead in spend now. So things are really, really looking up for the city. Yeah, so yeah, and I've been walking around here and it seems like you're doing gangbuster business as usual. And of course, I've been here over the past few years a lot of times and it always seems you're doing well. Now talk a little bit about the hotel scene uh, in New Orleans. What's going on in terms of renovated properties? And we'll, talk, we'll get to your hotel in a second, sure, but, but sure. Uh, what are some of the new properties coming online and, and what's going on in the hotel situation here in New Orleans? So we have seen in the past two years unprecedented growth. We've had uh, about 1,800 rooms come online in the past 15 and 16. And in the next two years, 17 and 18, leading up to our tricentennial, another 2,000 rooms plus will come online. Hotels, most are boutique hotels, like the Nopsy Hotel is coming online later this year, or I'm sorry, early uh, at 17, the Ace Hotel, the Moxie Hotel, Nopsy the, Noxy is yes. the trend here, right? <laughs> the, um, the AC, uh, yeah. Jung Hotels, the Joie de Vivre Hotel. So, I mean, there's been, and these are all in the CBD, the Central Business District, or the Warehouse District. So, all with great locations and all right, uh, right in our area, right in the, uh, in the tourist zone. So, it sounds like a very healthy situation for the hotel scene, right? Yeah, we really didn't have much growth at all since the storm, obviously, because most hotels were renovating or putting their, their things back in order. And as you walk around the different hotels in the quarter and in the CBD, and they all look great, really. Everybody's put a lot of money back into their hotels and it's really reaping benefits for the city overall. And now you get to talk a little bit about the hotel that's near, near and dear to your heart here, the Windsor Court. And actually we're sitting in, uh, I guess, an offshoot room of the grill room, right? Against this beautiful portrait of uh, different New Orleans things. That's and right. uh, talk a little bit about <laughs> what's new with the Windsor Court. So lots, really. The, the um, Polo Club Lounge, which is our signature cocktail bar, has expanded and uh, we took a walk through there earlier, but now we've added 40 seats, took over part of the grill room, just reduced the size of the grill room a bit, increased the Polo Club Lounge and that's been huge for us. We moved the entertainment back. We have fantastic quality entertainment five nights a week. So that's been a big win for us. We had a gift shop in the lobby, which really wasn't such a great asset for the hotel. And we've converted that now into what we're calling Cafe Anglais, which is a grab and go coffee, ice cream, desserts, pastry bar. Um, we're heading into holiday season. This is a great, great time of year in the city and at the Windsor Court. And we have a guest room renovation plan for next year. So we did our last renovation in 2012 and it's time in 17 to freshen up and, and, and do that again. Spa is doing great at the hotel. Uh, you know, it's just a we have great new chef de cuisine, Gabrielle Charpentier, who's tremendous and things are really great here. Yeah, well, I've stayed here before and it's a marvelous hotel, very comfortable, very livable, uh, and uh, uh, it really is an uh, incredible property here in, in, the, in, the middle of the, in the middle of everything in New Orleans. Yeah, we've really. got a great location. We're two blocks from the French Quarter next to the Harris Casino, just in the middle of all the action. We'll talk a little bit about the sort of main hot attractions now in New Orleans. I mean, we know the music scene, the, the dining, I mean, who can forget about that? But what is really the hot thing these days in, in New Orleans from your kind of insider perspective? So, you know, I love the culture of the city and, and the World War II Museum is a real hit for me. And guest after guest who go there are just blown away by just, just the, you can spend so much time and you gain a tremendous new appreciation for, the, for our country and patriotism. So that's a great plus. We have a new streetcar line, the Rampart Street streetcar line, which connects with Canal and opens up a whole new corridor in the city. Mm -hmm. So that, you know, that is a brand new plus. Tremendous shopping, as you know, that up and down Magazine Street, and great new restaurants. There's one, my, one of my favorites, there's a new Emerald restaurant, Merrill. Another one, boy, this is what, his third, fourth? Well, so Emerald has really gone back to basics. Mm -hmm. And someone took me there on a business lunch last week, and he's in the kitchen cooking. Mm -hmm. Emerald's in the kitchen cooking. Well, and it's a new place, he's gotta make it good, right? Well, <laughs> you know, I guess I just envisioned that he had people that were gonna do that for him. <laughs> But he's really gone back to his roots. As tremendous a, a personalities he is and a chef as he is, 
he's gone back to his roots and I, it was really great. He came out and chatted with us and he's a, just a tremendous talent. So, Well, it sounds like there's plenty, as always, the old attractions, D-Day, New Emeralds Restaurant, a uh, lot going on here in New Orleans, a lot going on here at the Windsor Court. David, it's great to be back with you and uh, great to see what you're doing with the property. Always a pleasure, James. Thanks. I appreciate our time together. Thanks. I'm James Schillinglaw for Insider Travel Videos.